the wonderful winter tree. Bambi awoke one morning to find the whole world covered in a soft white blanket. What is it, mother? Bambi asked as he gazed around in wonder. This is snow, replied his mother. It means winter is upon us. Snow, said Bambi. He took a cautious step, and then another, and another. He felt the icy crystals crunch under his hooves. He looked back at the tiny tracks he had made. I like snow, Bambi said. Snow is pretty to look at, his mother told him, but it makes winter hard for all the animals. Bambi was about to ask her why winter was harder than other seasons, but just then his friend Thumper came hopping over. Hiya, Bambi, said the bunny. Come on, let's go sliding. He led Bambi to the pond, which was frozen solid. Thumper slapped at the ice with his foot. Come on, it's all right, he told Bambi. See, the water's stiff. Bambi saw his friend flower the skunk. You want to come sliding, Bambi called, running over. Thumper says the water's stiff. The flower shook his head. No thanks, I'm off to my den. I'm going to sleep through the winter, he yawned. Goodbye, Bambi, he said. Bye, flower, said Bambi. Then he spied another friend, a squirrel scurrying up an oak tree. The pond is stiff, squirrel, called Bambi. Want to come sliding with me? Thanks, replied the squirrel as he ducked into a hollow in the tree. But I have to store nuts for the long winter. He showed Bambi the pile he had already collected. No sliding for me today. So Bambi headed back to Thumper in the ice-covered pond by himself. By that time, Thumper was sliding across the ice with some of his sisters. They made it look so easy. But when Bambi stepped on the ice, he lost his balance right away. His hooves went sliding in four different directions. Kind of wobbly, aren't you? said Thumper. He laughed. Come on, Bambi, you can do it. But Bambi wasn't so sure. Sliding across the stiff water wasn't quite as much fun for deer, it seemed, as it was for rabbits, and it also made him hungry. He said goodbye to the bunnies and went back to find his mother. Mother, I'm hungry, Bambi told her. In the spring, summer, and fall, they have been able to find food almost anywhere they looked. But now that it was winter, Bambi could see that finding food wasn't so easy. There were no leaves on the trees, and the grass was covered with snow and ice. The snow was so cold that when he poked through it, Bambi thought his nose might freeze. At last, Bambi's mother uncovered a small patch of grass. Bambi nibbled it eagerly. Then Bambi curled up with his mother for a nap. The ground was hard and cold and the wind was chilly. Bambi was grateful to have his mother there to keep him warm. Is this why the birds fly south and why our other friends sleep through the winter? Bambi asked her. His mother nodded and snuggled even closer. But don't worry, Bambi, she told him. Winter doesn't last forever. By the end of December, it seemed like there was nothing left on the forest but bitter bark for Bambi to eat. The days grew short and the nights grew long. And throughout them, Bambi's stomach rumbled. And then one day, something truly amazing happened. Thumper was the first to see it. Hey Bambi, he hollered. Would you look at that tree? Bambi followed Thumper's paw. He could not believe his eyes. There before them was a tall pine tree unlike any Bambi had ever seen. It was draped with strings of bright berries and yummy popcorn, and from the end of each branch hung a ripe, juicy apple. But the most wonderful thing to Bambi was the gold star at the very top. Mother! exclaimed Bambi. Look what Thumper found! Cautiously, his mother drew closer. It can't be, she whispered. It seems almost too good to be true. What is it, Mother? Bambi asked her. The most beautiful tree in the world, she answered. She smiled down at Bambi. What a special gift to have on your first Christmas. Who left it, Mother? Bambi asked. I don't know, she replied. Maybe someone who loves animals, Thumper said, hopping up and down. This is the best gift ever. He sniffed one of the apples hanging low to the ground. Can we share this food with every one of our friends, Mother? Bambi asked. Yeah, and with my sisters too, Thumper chimed in. I don't see why not, Bambi's mother said. Christmas is a time to share what we have with those we love. Bambi and Thumper danced happily around the tree. Look at all the popcorn and berries, Thumper cried. And look at that star at the tippy top too. Bambi stopped prancing. He looked up at the golden star at the top of the tree. Then he looked up at the sky above him. The sun was just beginning to go down. He knew that very soon there would be a star twinkling in the sky just like the one at the top of the tree. A gentle hush fell over the clearing. He danced back over to his mother and took a big bite out of one of the juicy green apples. Mmm, he thought. Nothing had ever tasted so good. Gazing up at the star and at the wonderful winter tree, Bambi could feel a happy, warm glow swelling inside him. There was enough food on that tree to feed all the animals who were hungry. What a magical gift, thought Bambi. 
Winter was long and hard, and yet wonderful after all.